What's up all guys, today in this video I am going to unbox a servo motor stabilizer. So let's begin the video. Okay, so here is the stabilizer. It's a stabiometric uh, stabilizer. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this word stabiometric or whatever it is uh, after all. Uh, but this is a device uh, that I'm going to unbox it. Okay, stabilizer is sometimes a very important uh, thing because uh, if you are facing electricity issues in your city like uh, fluctuation of voltages, uh, then this will save your device. Okay, so let's open it up. First of all, I'm going to just... Okay, so I think so. Here is the bill. I purchased it from season.com.pk online. Okay, so now here is the instruction manual, and that's it. And this is fuse. Okay, so let's take the device first out. Let's open it up more further. So this is uh, the packing. Because uh, I'm facing too much uh, voltage problem in my home. Okay, sometimes voltage drops to 180, sometimes rises to 50 70 boats are dangerous okay I have power supply uh, in my computer of Asus which can provide 550 watts so uh, the limit of that uh, power supply the voltage is, is 200 to 240 okay so as I told you sometimes voltage drops to 180 sometimes rises to 270 or 60 so both were dangerous for my power supply and for my PC and for my GTX 1060 so here it is okay so this is your power cable and uh, uh, these are the outlets okay for example i need 220 volts i will add the switch of my pc here or if i need 110 volts i will add the switch of my pc here okay so my asus power supply i run perfectly on 220 volts so this is the best i will use this one and i think you can use this switch also if you have this one thing and remember this is 1000 v stabilizer and it can provide the power of 800 watts okay my power supply uh, needs uh, 550 okay so remember that uh, 550 plus 50 600 but it's still safe for my power supply okay it can uh, run my pc smoothly and my power supply so this is the most important thing when you are purchasing the stabilizer um, uh, study uh, how much power you need and then purchase the stabilizer according to your needs okay second thing the most important is uh, if you have an expensive pc if you have an expensive uh, laptop uh, then i think spending 50 or 60 dollar to purchase the stabilizer to save your pc a laptop is uh, not too much expensive thing okay after all this is going to save your uh, pc and laptop so this is very important thing if you have electricity fluctuation problems in your area then it's the best Okay, I have GTX 1060, Core i7, expensive PC, so I think this uh, uh, stabilizer is going to save my PC from dying, okay, because I have a lot of electricity problem in my uh, home, sometimes drops to uh, 180, sometimes rises to 270 volts, so 
it's very dangerous thing so this is on and off button and this is uh, the fuse okay so here you can see and it's uh, input is from 130 to 260 watts so it can work safely and if it goes beyond uh, beyond uh, the 260 watts then you know fuse will burn and save it and boom so this is the front of this uh, stabilizer I don't know stabia matic whatever it is uh, but it's the name of uh, the brand okay servo motor control automatic voltage regulator so this is good thing okay so uh, this is the output voltage uh, working uh, over voltage under voltage so this will uh, uh, let us know everything here so here you can see again capacity is 1000 VA so I'm again saying that uh, when you are going to purchase the stabilizer for your PC then uh, please measure how much power you need and purchase the uh, stabilizer according to that and this is it this was the manual okay getting something useful here okay so hope you like the video if you really enjoyed it then please make sure to uh, like this video and uh, subscribe uh, my channel for more technology and freelancing videos this will help me to grow my channel and uh, that's it share this video if uh, your friend or some relative uh, uh, building their gaming PC this will help them okay second uh, watch my other videos till the next video so thank you for watching